Hello everyone, so today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create glyphs. The best glyph creator video ever because I created this page that helps you create glyphs faster than any other way possible. So if, I'm sure you guys have um, tried this website here, which is Bedrock Wiki. And I am going to leave a link for this website in the description, but just saying it's not sponsored or it's not anything related to me so i'm sure you guys know what glyphs are if you guys don't it's fine because this is still beginner friendly it's not complicated at all you guys need zero coding because it does take some time like maximum of 20 minutes not much to have some fun very very cool things in your game so i'm sure you guys heard like okay this is really hard to create glyphs like you have to like copy this and draw stuff right no because in this minecraft creator hub you guys can go it's also going to be in the description below um you guys can go here and then just select the images that you guys want to create to convert to glyphs so i'm just going to do this as you guys can see i got some glyphs that i like so if you guys play uh gorilla tag in my world you guys know that I also create started creating Gorilla Tag Minecraft Worlds. So I wanted to create all of these into um, glyphs. So all of this. You guys can just go ahead and select any image you guys want. It does not matter. You guys can also draw your own like I did here. Um, yeah, you guys can do anything. And then just click add or import. And then the slider, it's going to be at 8. It's just a... Uh, it's just a bug um then just slide this slider to any amount you guys want so it ranges from 8 to 1024 but 512 and 1024 does not work it it's probably because that image size is really really big and the image that will generate here the glyph will become extremely big, um, taking up a lot of storage. So unless you have a really strong and good computer, um, just keep it below 256 and 128. And by the way, the, these, um, um, the sizes here, the, like also is the pixel size, but also the quality and uh, size of the glyph in game and i'll just go with um 16 and then click on join images and now it will create all this and if you guys put a lot of images in it will lag a bit but then it'll just go away and it'll display them all and if you like it you guys can just click on download and yeah it's just it's scrollable because you need more space for these and then just go and then click on download or if you guys want to add more just click on choose files and add more images it can, um, you guys can add, like, 256 images in total. So, yeah, you guys got a lot of space, and you guys should use it up. Just add random stuff. You guys will still want to have more images, and it's not going to use more um, memory because it's just an image. Click on download, and then download, and there you got it. And it's just going to be um, named to combined image, and it's not going to say five. It's just that I've already tested this five times, so it says five. Scroll down here, and I can barely see this, but it says hex code example zero x e o. So we're gonna do what you're gonna have to do is click on the file and then click on the image, and then click on rename, and then rename it to glyph underscore capital E zero or you guys can just do capital e one two three four five six seven so on um if you guys already used up e1 you guys can go to e2 so you guys can create as many glyphs.pngs as you guys want um now i'm just gonna go here scroll down and here is the chart version so this is for beginners and this is a manual version. And it's not only for beginners, but also professionals. It's just really, really easy to use. So that's why I created the chat ver chart version. 
because it's so easy to use that I even use this. But this one is the manual version and you guys can barely see the text and um, I'll change it up a bit so it's more visible because on my MacBook it was a lot visible or is it? Yeah. No. Okay. So the manual version is really hard so just don't don't even use it. Um, so we're going to use the chart version. So we're going to put the, the glyph, whatever you guys are named it to. So glyph underscore E1, E0, right? So I'm going to put, just always start with 0x and then capital E and then whatever number you guys put. I put E0. And then just do that. As soon as you guys type it in, just click on any of these. So just if I go here, as you guys can see at the top right corner, I have that lava, lava um color, right? So on the top right corner, it's zero zero. I'm just gonna click that, and then it'll just immediately copy it to my clipboard. So if I go here, paste it, as you guys can see, it will like not display the emoji, but it will still work in game. It's just that your device has not created a an icon for it so it's just not visible but it still works now what you have to do to import this into game all you have to do is go to the description below and then click on this media file link then can um uncompress this or extract all files drag and drop this into the add-on folder drag and drop this into the fonts folder again and then just keep both and then rename yours to e1 or just delete mine just like that and rename yours back to e e0 and like that and then just go to the manifest click And if you guys do not have this app coder, um, if it's not available for PC, Android devices, you guys can go to the website and click, where's the thing? Okay, so go to the website and uh, mine, Minecraft Creator Hub, and then go to Tools, Coder, and I'll just edit from here. Choose file, downloads, and then just select your manifest.json file, or you guys can just drag and drop. And then here, just type many, manifest, um, dot JSON. And then for the name here, you guys can put any name for the add on you guys want. I'm just gonna put the add-on for YouTube. Okay, and I know there was a typo, but it doesn't matter. And then open up another Minecraft Creator Hub page, and then click on GUID Generator. Generate GUID, copy GUID. Go back and paste. And then generate another GUID, copy, and paste okay now for the description if you guys want to include a pack of description you guys can but if not just put random stuff or just leave it as description and now just click on download code it'll ask you to download click on download and then go to your files and then it'll be in your downloads folder and then rename this to dot json now, if you guys do not see the .txt or .zip names at the end, make sure to click on your thing, view options, and then show all extensions. And then it will show you guys all the extensions and their names. And now for PC, just search it, search it up how to make it so it shows all the extensions. Drag this, drop it into your add-on folder. Again. 
delete the old one and then try it. No, it does not work. Manifest.json. Okay, now it won't say duplicate detected because I already have like 10,000 of these. Manifest. Okay. And now I can check. It's perfectly okay. The fonts are perfectly good. Okay, now I can just compress this file and then rename rename the dot zip to dot mc add-on use mc add-on and then just wait a bit okay that name is taken i'm just gonna do whatever this is dot mc add-on boom and now I just click and import it to Minecraft Okay, so it should have said um, import started and then import successful, but it didn't. It's probably because of a lot of stuff going on in my Minecraft folders because I've been testing, importing, export, importing a lot of files into Minecraft before it, so I can test to see if they work. And if the glyph creator worked. So I'm going to go to my packs, resource packs. And then, um, just wait for a second. And there you go. So I should get it in here. So this is the one that I had it. This is the one. Um, it says template add-on. And then, yeah, this is the add-on that I renamed it to. It will have the missing texture icon. It's just that the texture would take up some space, so I just do not want it there. So just don't worry about the texture problem, the missing texture, it, it's not a big deal. Now I'm just gonna turn on split screen so I can, I can um, use this right here, use this chart so I can paste in these things. So now if I go here, and I can type stuff, right? If I click on that, so I want to take that one right there. Uh, I'm going to click on the chart, and then it'll copy it. If I paste it, as you guys can see, I have that image, that one over there, in Minecraft. And I can also paste this in chat and spam. And now if I want to get that one over there, I think that's like 15, so I'm just going to take a random guess. And boom. So I got that one, actually. So it was 17. And, yeah. It's really, really fun. And as you guys can see, the image quality in this glyph is horrible. So if you guys wanted to improve it, you guys can just um, make this bigger. But if you guys make that bigger, then the glyph's size would be bigger. So right now, this one is pretty small, right? So if you increase this, then that would be a lot bigger. Um, and by the way, everyone in the world who downloads the resource pack and join your world can see these images. And that's all. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye all. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.